Okay. Here's a process for how we put on a connector onto the end of a one of our battery terminal lugs that's yeah. going to go. So uh, one key thing is there's going to be a lot of amperage going through here. So you can solder it and it'll hold, but what you want to do is put as much solder in there as you can because you want to spread the load out so you have a lot more amperage load capability to it. But so I'm just going so to clean kind it of out a little bit with some sandpaper. Uh, emery cloth. Kind of up emery cloth, is there any difference between that and sandpaper? Well, I just use emery cloth. I, I don't think it... Uh, it doesn't, it's finer, plus it doesn't, you know, the grit doesn't fall off as bad, yeah. quite as bad as, uh, as that. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to... So use flux? We're going to flux it so that it here good. That's my shoe. This is for silver solder. So silver solder flux. Yeah, it, probably you should use something... This shouldn't be too bad a deal. And I've already did that. I spread all the wires apart this morning and really put a lot of flux in around the copper so that the so that the, it'll flow flow good. Mm -hmm. And this is sil silver solder you're using. That's your stuff there. That's for dielectric. That's for electric. Some of the other stuff, the rosin that's in it will will uh, That's a mixture of map. What is that? Prop it's just map gas. It's not propane. It's uh, map propane. gas. It gets hotter than. Uh... I'm having problems with it. See, normally it should light, but I've been having problems with light. Is it there now? You know, I just, they don't need to be very hot for this small surface. Yeah, when you're doing this, you don't want it to get up. Your flame, your open flame shouldn't be where you're actually soldering because it, it like burns it up. It doesn't really hear good. You want to heat everything up good. And your solder will always flow towards the heated section. Like I'll, it'll get hot enough here. If I heated it over here, the solder will stay right here. But if I heat it over here, the solder will flow into the heat. Mm -hmm. So whether you're brazen or whether you're soldering. Mm -hmm. And you saw him to tell you that when you do circuit boards the same way. Of course, you're using an iron there, but you get it good and hot. And I'm just kind of preheating. So you're just using lead solder. This is your uh, yeah. It's for this is what you this is what you had. I assumed it was for electrical connections. There's there's different rosins. Some rosins is more like an acid base, and it'll corrode over time. You're not supposed to use it with you know. doing is just sucking right into the see I'm heating it clear up here so it's gonna pull all this pull the solder clear, clear down in there. And even on a side where it's hollow, just keep shiving it in there. Because what it's doing is filling those voids up so you have more of a surface area to spread the amperage load load across, you know. Mm -hmm. You can smell the resin. See how it's plenty hot? Mm -hmm. you just keep feeding it. Any luck? Yeah. And I just put a bunch in it until it starts coming out. See how fast it melts? Mm -hmm. But see all that's going inside there. I just do it until it starts coming out. What you're doing is you're filling that whole void up in here so that this this copper wire has got it's it's spread it's the whole load is the amperage load is spread out through the whole thing instead of just where it's making the initial contact with the mm -hmm. copper. That's it. Okay. Good. Five minutes. And just let it. Don't touch it because you get a cold solder joint if you jar it. Mm -hmm. so and I didn't, This is just what you had, so I don't know. Mm -hmm.
what kind of rosin you have. It has okay. a lot of lead and don't have a lot of silver. So we're good on that. Good.